The weather conditions for this weekend will be sunny and very dry for the department, according to the EDM forecast. At the same time, the government invites the community not to lower the guard and to be attentive to the official information since we are in hurricane season. The EDM forecast indicates increased cloudiness and the probability in the archipelago of San Andres, Providence and Santa Catalina is light to partly cloudy skies in the area, with mostly dry weather for this weekend. However, it is important to remember that from June 1st to November 30th is the hurricane season. So for the departmental government, it is important to address the community and share relevant information on prevention measures and action against natural phenomena that occur in the Caribbean Sea. Therefore, in recent days, an educational group of the departmental office of risk management conducted strategic guidance on the Bente de Julio and Las Americas avenues. This in order to socialize about what is a tropical cyclone, what are the preventive measures, the elaboration of family and community emergency plans, among others. This through informative flyer brochures, instructive talks, and the verification of the reading of the same. In other news, in Vima visited the islands to provide training to personnel of the department's health secretariat in theoretical and practical work that culminated today. The following is an extension of the news. In order to strengthen the capacity of the personnel in charge of carrying out sanitary inspections on the establishment and ports of reception of foodstuffs in the department, the National Institute for the Surveillance and Medicine and Food carried out a training session during the week of today. Sherry Ann Dufis, an official from the Health Secretariat, explained the guidelines and content of this training. We receive a training and, and theoretical training where they explain us uh, what is the different requirements, the different law that we should apply when we make any visit to business or the different points of, of, of where the, the merchandise coming like airfield or, or the dock. Also, we, uh, we made some, we studied some cases that they put uh, in our, as our disposition so that we could analyze and uh, make a, a review and fill out the farms and that when we go, that when we make business visit, we always use. In the same line, the officials spoke about the aspect developed during the training session where they were audited during the visit to a commercial establishment on the island. We went on the street and we make a visit to one of the enterprises then that is competent for us to, to visit. And we've, uh, in that visit, we verified the sanitary condition uh, at that place and after uh, we proceed to to fill out all the documents all the formats and that we need to report the results of the visit at the closing of the training session that invima conducted on the island a feedback to the attendees was carried out highlighting the shortcomings but also the strengths of all the health personnel present New challenges and a new roadmap to continue contributing to the development of our archipelago will be the central theme at the forum to be held on our island by the Chamber of Commerce and the University of El Rosario. In alliance with the Universidad del Rosario, Casa Editorial del Tiempo, and the German Conrad Adenauer Foundation, the Forum The Future of the Archipelago Sustainability and Tourism will be held within the framework of the Ruta País project to propose possible solutions and work together in search of the common good, as well as to present to the new government a social and economic hopes of the archipelago. We will hold a forum with experts from the University of Rosario, who will visit us and different leaders of the department to talk about the challenge we have as a department and think about the route to follow for the archipelago. We will address issues such as sustainability, which is crucial, and also the tourism that we want and need for the department. The forum will be a dynamic space and oriented to the strategy that must be adopted in the islands to have a more sustainable archipelago with higher quality for all the inhabitants of the island and visitors. And the video clip competition of a regional channel Tele Islas is coming to an end. We will tell you when the Clipfest final will take place. 
The results and the decision of the jury of the clip fest are ready. This Sunday, August 21st, you will have the opportunity to know the winners through the screen of Tele Islas News. Tele Islas video clip competition get to the end. The jury, they don't take a decision. So, you can't miss it. The 21 of August at 6 p.m., you have to sit down right there and enjoy the ceremony awards from clip fest 2022 in a version. A total of eight video clips are competing in this version of the clip fest. And now that the voting is ready at close, you can still see the work of the participants on the YouTube channel of the regional channel Tele Islas. And now it's time for news of the municipality of Old Providence and Santa Catalina with Millicent O'Neill. Good evening to all our viewers. This is the most relevant information from Old Providence and Catalina. A photo of a three-wheeler crossing, crossing the Lover's Lane Bridge in recent days has caused several reactions from the community in social networks. Several have reacted on social media after a motor car made two trips to Catalina over the bridge. The vehicle was carrying a heavy marble structure that is part of the reconstruction of the Catholic Church in Santa Catalina. The community gave their opinion on the subject. With the reconstruction scenario that we are going through, we had already talked about the possibility of using the batter and taking construction materials and others to Santa Catalina when we had a meeting with the Navy concerning the cleaning day. Yes. Apparently, permission had been requested in advance to the site engineer. They said that they asked for permission and to excuse them because they were passing things for the church. And really it was heavy. They tried to take it down from the butter and there were about 20 of them and they couldn't handle that table. It is understandable, but hopefully people won't continue passing things. Likewise, one of the bridge workers invited the community not to carry out these type of actions. Bueno, el puente principal. The bridge is merely built for crosswalk, for people, not for vehicles, because the passage of this would generate damage or deterioration to the infrastructure as such. Then the invitation is obviously without generating controversy is that we do not carry out crossings either with motorcycles or other types of vehicles on the bridge as such. Finally, the Secretary of Government will issue a decree on the subject. And after almost two months since the official opening of the municipality to tourism, Tele Islas News interviewed several visitors who shared their perception of the conditions of the island. Surprise in many cases as to the progress in reconstruction. This is how many tourists describe what they've seen almost two months after the official opening of the municipality to tourism. The visitors who can be seen more and more on streets and beaches share their perception of the state of the island still under reconstruction. It was very worthwhile to come, very surprised by the progress that the reconstruction has had. The truth is, we expected to see that the process to be slower, but we have seen very interesting things, much construction, much pushing. The island is beautiful, I can see a lot of works and uh, I cannot wait to be here maybe in a couple of years and uh, see how it's going to be. We can see some places that are built, but it's also part of a uh, an island you know when you are tourists you don't want to see everything perfect all the time sometimes it's better to feel the population and what's really happening so i kind of like it that way the destination has received 35 percent of tourists compared to 2019 great number for the reactivation process it is important and pleasing to highlight that a greater number of foreign tourists are coming in compared to the last active year. They are visiting us from other countries. From the territorial entity, we have conducted random satisfaction surveys to visitors and, and most of them are surprised by the fast recovery. It is expected that the number keep growing with the passing of time. And this is all we have for tonight for the section of Old Providence and Catalina. Lisa, you can continue with more Tele Islas News. Good night. Thank you, Millie. And with news of the municipality, we reach to the end of our broadcast, but we see you Sunday at 8 p.m. in Tele Islas News Weekend. Good night.